Now, for some reason, this camera went off when I was talking to it for a while, so I don't know what happened there. But anyway, welcome to day five. Can you believe it? Day five of the Green Garnivore Diet. Yes, that's right. And it's been, it's been rather a rather busy day today, actually, in all, all, all told. Uh, like, from having got up in, in the morning, I went to the gym. And I spent about an hour in the gym. Uh, and then when I, when I got back, I... I then went to Asda, I had to go to Asda, and I went to Asda because I needed to stock up more on olives, I'd run out of olives, and I can't live without my olive salad these days, it's the sustenance that I need. And uh, I get the black olives, so they're more ripe than the green ones, and I got three because I thought, well, why not, they're only like 60 pence a jar. Uh, and I also got some cider vinegar, a special kind of cider vinegar that's actually uh, preferable, I think it's nicer. Got two of those and the rest was just greens, just green sort of vegetation for, you know, the diet. I didn't need any meats because I already had chicken and salmon in the house and to be honest I kind of prefer the meat from Aldi. But what happened then was I got back and then I went swimming. I went for a good long swim, as long as it, it would normally be because I had to get out early in order to go and get to badminton on time, which is what I played for about two and a half hours and it was uh, really, really, really good and I think by that point I was starting to feel like my stomach was caving in. I, you know, I had a handful of olives before I actually went to Utu Badminton to help fuel me but I think, you know, I'd, um, I was really looking forward to getting something proper in my stomach. And so what did I cook today? Well, what I cooked is right here. Now, as you can see in that image, there's chicken. I did chicken. I fried it this time. I fried the chicken for about 20 minutes in total, uh, 10 on each side. And I um, I also have boiled this time, I actually boiled the sweet potatoes and the turnip. Uh, not turnip. Yeah, turnip. I actually had turnip. That's a new one. I got some turnip from the Asda because I can have turnip. And I boiled it. I boiled both of them. And it went really nice and I actually really enjoyed them. Like previously until now I've been sort of coating them in olive oil, right? And, and I use a lot of lugs of olive oil because that's what you do to coat them, don't you? When you put them in the oven you make sort of chip like sort of wedges. And having now boiled them, they just no oil actually to boil them at all. I just salted the water and boiled them. I just, um, you know, uh, timed them up with a bit of thyme, you know, seasoned them with thyme. And I had some fresh parsley, which I'd also included on chicken, but I sort of added a bit more of that onto them. Uh, and a bit of cider vinegar, really, just to sweeten it up a bit. <laughs> I never would have ever imagined using cider vinegar on an actual meal. It seems seems like something you put on a salad. Uh, I don't even know what I... Yeah, I always use it on a salad. Or with butter beans. I often use them with butter beans. I can't have butter beans now. No legumes on this diet. And... Um, and as for my weight, so I weigh myself then after I've eaten, and whoa, my god, look at it. As you can see, 10 stone 5.2, as opposed to the 10 stone 8.2 yesterday, that is a three, three, three pounds, three whole pounds to have lost in just one day. I mean, that's bloody crazy. I mean, I don't know what, what's going to be left at me by, by day seven, you know, by one week, when by weeks come by. And I suppose <clears throat> by day seven, what I'll also do is I'll show um, how my body looks um, as, an, as, a, as a way for you to actually examine not only the psoriasis, but what sort of changes may have happened in that week. And I'll have to look back on day one, actually, just see how many pounds, even maybe, maybe, maybe half a stone or something like that, will have been lost within that week. Um, um, it's kind of weird to actually be on a diet where I can still feel kind of full up and energetic because I was in badminton and I was playing really, really well today in badminton. I mean, I mean it. I was mean on that coach. And uh, even when we did do this thing at the end, and by the way, players there, you know, they're not monks, right? They're actually really good, some of them. And we're playing killer and I came third, right? Yeah. I actually came third. I couldn't believe it. That's how on my game I was. Normally I'm about seventh... Eighth, uh, I think I'd only ever, my best has ever actually been seventh. Killer is this uh, round you play where we all have to queue up and um, we have like the instructor who's hitting the shuffle cocks towards us and we all take a tee in and if we miss it we lose a life. Uh, and we all started with just two lives rather than three and I, I was very close, very close to the sort of run up. So that was really remarkable. It's amazing that even though I'm eating even less and I'm burning fat at the same time, that I have all this energy going along with me. It's kind of strange. And I'm not really experiencing, so in terms of comparing how I normally, I think 
I'm not experiencing any more the sort of crash you get from binging uh, sudden carbohydrates, you know, if you say how uh, uh, I don't know, a full English breakfast in the morning. You may wake up with energy, have a full English breakfast in the morning and then uh, momentarily get an energy spike and then all of a sudden it goes down, right? You just suddenly feel tired, you know, with the bread in it and, um, well bread, yeah, because I have it on toast, not what I would have had it on toast. Um, and bearing in mind, I can't have bacon on this diet. Eat out of all the meats that uh, I wish, to, wish was permissible. Bacon. Why couldn't I have bacon? Which is weird for me to say actually, because uh, before this, before this one, I was doing veganism, so I had not, I had not eaten bacon for so long. Anyway, for about a year, and I'm suddenly thinking, well, I'm going to eat meat again. Why couldn't I have bacon? At least bacon's enjoyable. You know, it's it's got its fatty pot components to it, but that's so nice, isn't it? Um, and I oh, yeah, another thing you couldn't have with those the beans, and I can't have eggs either. Eggs, no, no doubt eggs. Um, so that's that's been my day. I uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe, share, like, and suggest whatever to do. Bye.